Strategic here and welcome back to my Mortal Empires Bellacore Let's Play uh, Doomsday Stream. So we've just beaten Azazel well, his his faction. We didn't actually, we didn't have to fight him himself, really. I don't know where he was, but anyway, we can enforce confederation now and it says that we get all the vassals here. So all our armies will be destroyed and their faction leader temporarily wounded. Any captives enslaved and any vassals transferred to you, so we'll get the soul as well. And um, if we do this, we get the souls, but I can't see any other benefit because we get the vassals anyway, so it's just a better option, really, I think. You will serve me. I've got new regiment around there, Summoners of Rage, and we confederated with the ecstatic. Legions. He's going to be five turns before we can move him up. So I'm wondering now if I'll be able to use the seduce mechanic with him. I'm guessing not because I think it's a faction wide thing and it needs to be unlocked. But we'll at least get to use uh, Azazel in five turns, so that should be good. We're going to have another legendary lord. Immortal Lord available for us. And he's pretty... Yeah, he's pretty tanky as well. He could probably... Maybe not a match for Velikor. But, um... Very tough. Very tough fighter. Really high weapon strength and uh, armor-piercing damage there. Well, we've got a chunk of money as well. Big load of money. And can we recruit another exalted hero? Yes, we can. We'll definitely do that. Right, bonus versus infantry, that sounds very nice. And some um, agent ability improvements as well. Yeah, he's, he looks good. But then we'll get rid of this building because we don't need it. So what does it do? So it gives us, um, it gives us Chaos Warriors capacity, apparently. Perhaps we can make use of that. So there's a 15% chance every turn of giving us a Chaos Warrior unit. But I think we'll have to go back there later. Right, we lost our spawn, unfortunately. So we have to replace it with something else. I think we'll go with the Marauder Horsemen again. Start building those up. If we want to ideally get some knights going for us, some siege knights. I am unstoppable. Right. Some economy work to do here. And we'll go with exploit vassals. Cheaper buildings, very nice. Not really bothered about public order, because if we if we get any rebels, the, the forts that we build should be able to fend them off and we'll get more souls for it, so not really bothered about that. Are you a god? The first demon prince. God maker. Obviously. Right, we should be friends with the soul now. Rating, I think they're a bit they're a bit peed off for for um breaking our treaty with them. Apparently I had a treaty. But um we've got them as a vassal now, so that's pretty cool. Won't have to fight those. And we can uh, focus on vassalizing the rest of the Norskins. I think we'll be heading for Wintertooth next, actually. I'm wondering how can we How do we actually get those under our vassal, under our vassalage? Can we do it? If we can't do it, we might just take their fortresses from them. I'm not sure if we can, to be honest. 
We might just take their stuff and give it to the Varg and take the fortresses for ourselves. That seems to work. That works pretty well in my experience. Do not stop. Because the, uh, the Norskans, the vassals, get, they can use the coastal provinces. They, they get decent economy buffs from those and it makes them stronger. So they'll, they'll end up sending better armies to help you out. So we've got some armies from the Varg there helping us. I'll probably do some allied diplomacy soon to, um, you know, try and manage them a bit, make them more useful for us. My prayers are answered. My fellow warlords converge. Do the Kurgan and Tong come south? Can we do some diplomacy? Spread corruption. Pestilence. Pestilence. Pestilence, all, all powerful, but more slaves. Yeah, why not? Yes, yes. Mildred Beetle. Apparently pestilence can do an alliance with us. Hmm. I'm not sure they're going to survive, to be honest. I think I'll I'll wait on that one and see if they can see if they can actually make it through. And we'll have a chat with with our vassals now, I think. So we've got, um, got a load of allegiance with them. And we can make an outpost as well. I would kind of like it if you could get the... Um, the Chaos Champions from your vassals, but because they're a really good unit, but um, it doesn't seem like you can at the moment. So it'd be kind of cool if they were moved to tier 3 for Norska so that you could, you know, or, or, or just like a lower tier so that you could get Chaos Champions from your vassals, because getting those as a unit would be pretty, pretty powerful. Did that work? I don't think it worked. Yeah, I think maybe here. Right, so we've just got to... That's weird. Thought we confederated them. That is weird. Possibly a bug? Anyway. Just need an outpost with the Sile now, and then the outposts are done. That is how. And we've got this nonsense to deal with as well. flew across the stars, legions in my wake. There's that 40k reference again. Pretty cool. I would just love Warhammer wow, 40,000 total war. It would just be the best thing ever. Favourite factions, Tyranids, I think. I used to have a, I used to collect a space horse army, and, but I was a lot younger then. Oh great! You know, I'm I'm tempted to try and bend this off. Actually, I think it might be possible. We'll give it a go because he's he's quite badly worn down here.
yeah, I'll, I'll do an update soon on what the other Doomsday factions are, are actually up to, because I'm not too sure at the moment. Right, well, we'll definitely just try and hold on to the centre, I think. So he's got his troops here. And here. Yeah, I just think it's a shame that you can't get um, the different guard garrisons with Bellacor. Just like being stuck with, with Chaos Marauders is pretty bad. Or maybe they just need to buff his his undivided units a bit more, because the undivided units seem really quite lackluster compared to the uh, to the variants. Now maybe he should get like the the Norskin bonuses for the uh, undivided units. That might that might help a bit. Chaos warriors, running, running. Your will. Charge! Skirmish. Can we use these guys for something useful, possibly? Don't really want to go that way, because there's a shabby with great bows that way. Let's get some walls down. He's got horse archers there as well. So he's, he's quite well spread out, unfortunately. Attack the martyrs! Yes, Lord! Bring us the carnage! And a key for all. They're sniping us with his shabty there quite effectively. Would kind of like to have more walls here. They're not, they're not the most convenient locations. AI's micro here is pretty pretty on point, unfortunately for us. Right, we'll try and flank him with the, uh, the chaos doggies. Tomb Guard and Halberds there, they're gonna they're gonna be a pretty tough fight. For sure. Chaos Marauders! Just trying to think is there any point engaging those? We'll we'll try and finish him off here, I think. Maybe get a turret down. We can probably at least kill this this necro sphinx. If nothing else. 
Tremble, mortals! Bring scouts to Torn's throat! Well, I'll finish it off. It's not crumbling. There we go. I think it's that's dealt with now. Not too bothered about him, to be honest. The Shabdi are proving to be a real pain in the ass. Chaos comes. We might be better off trying to kill the, the Hero Titan. Not quite sure how you say that. Excuse me if I butchered the pronunciation on that one. It's not looking good. No. Not looking good. I think we'll probably chain route in a minute. We'll just speed it up now. Yeah. There we go. Well, we got one of them. Wounded the other one. Maybe we'll just be able to catch them with our army now, finally. Oh, he sacked it. That's pain. He's just going to keep running, I think. Right. Character experience or unit experience. I think for now, unit experience. Because we want to upgrade our troops are chosen soon. Let us corrupt. Yeah, we still can't now catch those. He's really taking the biscuit now. Extra souls from battles looks good and maybe uh, blessed by evil as well. I uh, kind of want him to have the war shrine though. Rather have the war shrine. So again, he's he's managed to maneuver himself like just out of range. Have we got anything that could speed the army up or something? It's really agitating. Belak 
core. I will for your gifts. Forward and to slaughter. Going north. I am Shadow. Bring ruin. He's actually got two vassals. Old Are you a god? I think we'd like to be heading towards him next. We'll probably be building a gateway up to him when we can. But we'll deal with um, we'll, we'll we'll deal with Throg first, I think. Call me master. Yeah, less upkeep sounds good to us. New abilities. Getting there. Where there are shadows, I shall be. My prayers are answered. Yeah, extra power reserve is always good. Good. The first. Right, we'll get one of these again. Is there any point upgrading this? Probably not. Yeah, fortresses are developing quite nicely now. Right, before we end the turn, we'll have a look at our enemies, particularly the Tomb Kings. So the, the Sentinels now are way down to, like, um, strength rank 15. They're looking a lot weaker. They might even be wiped out by one of the other... It's quite likely that they'll be wiped out by one of the other AI factions. Possibly the dwarves. I, I would put money on dwarves because they're right next to them. So that's brilliant news for us because we won't have to deal with those ideally. And the ancestral throng. Wow, God, look at them. So I think what's happening here is that the dwarves, the dwarves are going to be dominant because they are attacking everyone, and their armies seem really strong as well. They, they're taking loads of settlements. But I think what will happen is they'll eventually, they'll come into contact with Grimgore and then they'll start to even each other out a bit. That's probably what will happen. Because their, their territory is already in contact, so... And I think Grimgore will try to confederate all the other orcs, probably. It'd be kind of cool if all the orcs just became one faction, to be honest. That would be... That would be good. Maybe that will happen. Don't know, maybe we'll see that later. And... Uh, yeah, Sentinels you seem dare. to be on the way out, which is why they... That's probably why they're being so cautious at the moment. They're not engaging me at all. Because they know that their days are numbered. So we probably don't have to worry about them anymore. Weave the fates. So hopefully we won't have to fight any more Tomb Kings. Fight somebody else soon. 
that, that number of factions there is st steadily going down. Shadows form. I am there. Okay, so we can get. So event from our siege friend in uh, Albion, so we can... The uncorrupted slaves in the sightless region are resisting. They refuse to submit to the Dark Gods. Punishment must be swift. Okay. Don't really care about that. But Iron Fist. You get less replenishment but more money. I'm thinking the extra money is probably going to be nice at the moment. So yeah, we're getting a bit more vassal cash there. Right, let's have a look here again. I'm starting to think we might just be better off totally ignoring those because they're so weak now that I d I'm not sure they can really. I'm not sure they can really hurt us anymore. <laughs> we'll we'll try and get through the portal with him if we can. Get in some more troops. Right, where shall we go with him? The Empire is looking a bit of a mess at the moment. But uh, our vassal here is, is doing okay, so... I'm a bit worried because the orcs have started to encroach on our territory, so... I think I might check out what's happening here, this army. No, oh god, dwarves. <laughs> Dwar I, I hadn't spotted the dwarves, actually. Okay. Now, Can we beat those? Don't ancestors. really want to fight them very much. Raise Sigma by the comet. Are you a god? We could just move to another rift if we want to. Yes. Oh, yes. Don't really want to stay there very much. And we'll get rid of the trolls because they're expensive and not that useful. We can't really upgrade them that much. You can get armor trolls though. Armor trolls are not that bad. But they're, they're just they're expensive, you know. I don't want to keep those too much. Kind of 
don't want to keep these in the army. We can use them later. Get some more marauders. They might be able to use his support, I think. He can replace one of the, the demon units, maybe. Obviously. The Dark Master walks. So we got we got most of the most of the Norskans are under our control now, but we've got we've got a few there that are still in the way. Once we've gotten rid of Wintertooth, we can focus on subjugating the other two, and then pretty much pretty much all of Norska will be under our thrall at that point. It's going to make it hard for the uh, the end game factions to take us on once we've got all of Norska. Really tempted by that, the extra missile strength. We do have some broader horsemen, so I think we can use that. Like faction wide, that, that's pretty good. Ready. The four token. Is my realm. Now is my time. Right, can we do something with these forsaken, maybe? We can turn them into Forsaken of Siege. And then eventually we can... Oh, can we do it now? Yeah, we can turn those into Spawn of Siege. I, I, I like Spawn of Siege, so we'll use those. And we'll disband the Blood Letters. Beyond your comprehension. So discord. <laughs> yes. Okay. I foresee destruction. Right, so maybe we can do a maybe we can do a pro two pronged attack. Okay, help it's been taken by uh Cracker Jack apparently. So they're going nuts. What is unthinkable? I'm still thinking of this part of the map. I was thinking, would it be worth... Would it be worth subjugating Dryker? Possibly. She could be a problem. Tiger, 
I'm not even sure if it's possible to subjugate her because she's become um she's become insane. Even more insane than before. I think we'll we'll leave her alone for now and just see what happens. But we can we could pay her a visit soon, possibly. We may do that. We've got a Zazel, um, it'll be ready in two turns as well. But I would like to deal with Throg, so I think we'll be doing that. So who'll be training these guys up, helping them become Proper Chaos Warriors. We'll probably keep the Pink Horrors for now, because then we do need some missile support. I still think that the missile units are a bit, a little bit too strong in the game. I'd probably tone them down another 5-10% to bring them in line with the melee troops and the cavalry particularly. The cavalry I just think is still quite weak overall. Right, we'll do that in a minute. Do a bit of building first. Yeah, we'll get that. So we should be getting pretty good uh, income from these buildings now and from the fortresses themselves and from the uh, these buildings which boost it. So we should I think we have just have a quick look at our income summary. Yeah, we're getting we're getting pretty decent some income from these single settlements. The trouble with with this faction is is that they the Chaos Warriors is that they don't get much from the other settlements, generally speaking. The first. Right, so it's time to have a go at Frog. Are we in danger from from over here? I don't think he can reach us, but he'll probably start preparing for a fight now, but that doesn't matter too much. I kind of want an easy subjugation on him, but I'm not sure it's going to happen. They so I think we'll set this... This week. We'll end the stream and uh, we'll, we'll start another one in a few minutes. But yeah, I'm quite happy with these cat warriors of halbers. They they do they do and soon we'll just have we'll have an army. So again, we'll be using the we'll be using the horseman to just kind of kite his line and try and take some vulnerable points if we can. Should be a bit easy in this settlement because there's no walls to worry about. So we'll pick somewhere that's sort of in between to give us some flexibility. I've got their nice little overshield there protecting them. They're quite a squishy unit, so they I think they really benefit from that. The 
a jolted hero. Clean magic. Warriors of Zinch. I'll stick them behind because they're a bit vulnerable. Chosen of Zinch. Scheming slaughterers. Shadows coil. Okay, so thanks for watching. We'll, we'll carry on next time, as I say. Uh, I've been Retigic. If you enjoyed it, uh, like and subscribe because it helped my channel massively. And see you in the next one. Bye.